finally ended up taking a job with Canadian Canners in 1954. And uh, I was in Canners from 1954 until 1991. And uh, I took various jobs and I stayed at the Canadian Canners plant at St. David's all that time. I ran their farms. They had 500 acres of land at that time. And, and I went into the plant and I became the field foreman. And I worked in different positions in the plant, but, but really uh, I ended up in the field superintendent's job after we had consolidated from about 10 plants in the Niagara Peninsula to one plant in St. David's. The canning industry in the Niagara Peninsula it, during the 50s and early 60s had about 25 canning plants, 10 of which were Canadian canner plants. There was a number of in in independent plants. At one time, during the, the early 60s, there was, um, well, I'll get a crack at these numbers anyway, there was about 60,000 tons of fruit, of uh, peaches, produced in Niagara. Uh, 30,000 tons were sold fresh market and 30,000 tons were canned. And uh, most recently, um, the canning industry is down below 10,000 tons. So the, the market reduced. And, uh, and of course, it's uh, even worse today because uh, we, get, we have no canning, fruit canning, no fruit canning east of the Rocky Mountains. Well, it was, it was tremendous, uh, tremendously labor-intensive. Everything was hand-handled. Um, you know, there was very little mechanical um, equipment to handle the stuff. And the men were mostly uh, handling heavy, they were heavy labor. Um, you know, hauling boxes and that sort of thing, doing the heavy labor part of it. See, those women were on a line and they were splitting peaches, peeling peaches or pears as the case may be, and uh, putting the product into the can. They would put the, there were, the, the, there would be peaches on one line coming in and peaches peeled and skinned going on the other line going out and they would go down to the end down there and then come down in here and these people were putting them in the cans here and this would go into a closer a, a closing machine and that was all overhead uh, uh, conveyors or uh, line shafts it was line shafts all over the place uh, you'd never get away with that anymore. Um, you know, the overhead drives like that uh, it was long gone. And there's a case of where they're, they were cooking the canned goods. You see, they put them into a cage like this, and this cage would be lifted and dropped into a kettle to be cooked. And this was in each plant, not only the, you know, they, they had them all over the place. See that there's a lot of hand